Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're going to be covering all of the need-to-know information and best champions in order to beat the uncollected version of Black Widow Clairvoyant. And if you do find today's video valuable, please do smash that like button and also share it with your alliance. Uh, but anyway, now that shameless YouTube promotion is out of the way, I think Black Widow Clairvoyant is a fairly kind of mid-tier difficulty boss for the final boss of Uncollected. Uh, she's a little bit tricky to get used to because she's very menacing at first and her animations, especially the special do, is like a little bit crazy. But once you get the timings down and also bring a couple of viable counters, then she is quite a straightforward fight to deal with. So anyway, let's talk about some of the core stuff you need to know and the best champions. Now, the very first thing you need to understand is whenever Black Widow throws a heavy attack or special one, you're going to get three stacks of bleed. And it doesn't matter if this hits you, it doesn't hit you, you're always going to get three stacks of bleed. Now, kind of that's the, the big thing you need to understand and just be aware of, because these stacks of bleed, they start off, they're not too bad, but with all the nodes on Uncollected and also her death touch, um, these become quite troublesome quite quickly if you don't have a bleed immune champion, a power control champion or a champion that can shrug off debuffs. Now Black Widow also in terms of her nodes is going to be very aggressive. Debuffs last 100% longer so more bleed duration there. Uh, the defender is immune to the effects of stun. Every three seconds she gains a clairvoyance charge and if she hits 20 of these charges then essentially the bleed damage is doubled and also it activates her signature ability. So her signature ability really isn't too much of a um uh, a problem essentially if you go to knock her out uh, and she has death touch active which she will do in most fights that are over like 15 seconds uh, she'll essentially gain death immunity for four seconds and regenerate for 25 percent of her maximum health so you just need to be aware that she does have this um, and it can be a little bit annoying sometimes but it doesn't give her invulnerability so it's not quite as troublesome as a champion like phoenix for example she's just going to be immune to death and regenerate so it's not going to interrupt your combo or anything like that uh, and that's pretty much it man so really all you're dealing with in this fight is the fact that she's bleeding quite a bit and throwing like a lot of special attacks as well because if she's throwing a special attack um or a heavy and the debuff doesn't land instead she's going to get a bit of power gain as well so there's just a lot of specials to dodge in this fight so it's all about kind of getting into the rhythm of kind of dodging her special attacks and quickly getting back in now you've got a pretty clear understanding of exactly what's going on and again there isn't much in comparison to the average uncollected boss uh, let's have a little bit of a chat about some of the best champions so to counter black widow clairvoyant you're either looking for bleed immunity and i think that's probably the most desirable thing to have or you want strong ability to shrug off debuffs or strong power control so those are the three criteria for a champion that's going to be really good really viable for clairvoyant uh, obviously ghost is just one of the craziest options here because you're getting a lot of very small bleeds on you you can shrug those off and every time she uses a heavy or special one you can convert those three bleeds into 150 percent fury so ghost is crazy crazy good for this also a mega red as well uh, just because he mitigates a lot of the bleed damage and also allows him to activate his death field as well so great for damage output there uh, magic is really good as long as you can build up to um uh, one special two, you can keep Clairvoyant permanently power locked, uh, so she's great for this one. Uh, Blade with the Mephisto or Dormammu synergy just gives you a little bit more attack, and also Blade, as the power increases as well, you gain more and more debuff resistance, so if you stay close to full power, you're going to be pretty much immune to the bleed and take very minimal damage, and you can, you know, regen up as well, so Blade is great for that matchup. Uh, Aegon, if you can ramp up to 100 hits, uh, is really good, because you can just spam shrug off stuff. You still going to take a little bit of bleed damage there uh, but I've heard Aegon is working quite well. Quake if you've got mad skills and can play versus stun immune is a very good shout there as well. Luke Cage bleed immune is very very effective as well just because of the class advantage and also uh, I believe his exhaustion mitigates her passive power gain as well a little bit uh, so Luke Cage I found to be um 
Uh, tremendously good for fighting Clairvoyant myself. Uh, also Iceman. Iceman's a little bit more annoying just because uh, she is going to like siphon and nullify his ice armor and convert that into a little bit of power. But again, Iceman is still completely viable there. Uh, Emma Frost as well, as long as you stay low power. Ghost Rider, you got bleed immunity there. Morning Star, you got bleed immunity. And if you get like five souls as well, you can have 50% chance to perfect block and also regeneration. Uh, Dark Hawk, bleed immunity immunity and some sick damage sentinel you got some sick damage there also you know you're baiting out so many specials so it's going to be very easy to get 100 analysis for sentinel uh warlock you've got bleed immunity thing you've got bleed immunity iron man you've got bleed immunity uh domino you've got 50 percent chance to immediately shrug off a bleed combined with some pretty big damage you know you can get probably a one shot with a five star uh rank four or rank five domino or any six star version of domino there uh maybe a 550 might even be able to put a uh, dent in in terms of four stars as well if you have a um a uh, fairly high sig level Namor, you'll be able to transfer a lot of the bleed damage back to Black Widow Clairvoyant while also regenerating a little bit. So I imagine Namor would be alright for this matchup, not necessarily the best counter, but I imagine he would uh, uh, work and be quite effective as well. Uh, Vision, if you've got both of them, you've got bleed immunity, also a bit of power control as well. Dr. Octopus, if you can build up to the special 3 and survive that, play fairly aggressively, and then extend the power lock and play aggressively. Uh, then you can shut down the opponent's power gain and uh, you know that pro will probably only work if you've got high five star or six star Dr. Octopus uh, but that is potentially a strategy to go for because you can also get power locks as well while you're building up Doc Ock. Uh, Dormammu you have um uh, a mixture of power control and also bleed immunity as well. Ultron, you've just got the immunities. Um, Nebula, you've got bleed immunity. Cork, you've got bleed immunity. Uh, Taskmaster, if you have a high stacked out 5 star version, maybe a rank 3, rank 4, uh, after 10 debuffs, you're going to be immune uh, to getting more bleed debuffs there. So if you can survive long enough, Taskmaster might be a bit of an interesting option. Uh, and also Rogue as well has about 70% debuff reduction and also the ability to regenerate a little bit and also manage power. So I imagine Rogue, again, she's not the best option, but I think she would be a viable option to work. So as you can see, there are quite a few counters, but if we've missed off any champion that worked really, really well for you, please do let me know in the comments section below. But now that we've covered some of the best champions, man, let's get back into some gameplay. Now, first up, let's have a bit of a look at four-star Ghost versus Black Widow Clairvoyant, because Ghost is honestly just the most insane matchup for clairvoyant this month she is so much value because uh, you can just again immediately phase all of those bleed debuffs and convert them into 150 percent fury so you can see that special two there took about 50 percent of her health and we're 17 hits in and she's like 38 percent remaining so ghost is just so so ridiculous for this fight and it's really great because you can just easily phase that special one as well. But the special one isn't too bad to evade. You've just got to pay close attention to Black Widow's hands. And as soon as she's swiping up, you've got to dash back. Uh, but we'll talk about, you know, the timing a little bit more. But then we dodge the special. We look for the hand lunge forward and also the green appearing. Get our in and she's down, man. So you can see Ghost is just the cheat code for this fight. So now that we've got the super easy option out of the way, let's have a bit of a look at a Bleed Immune Champion. So we've got Luke K here who's just absolutely fantastic for this one and with the special one we're trying to bait that out as much as possible just because it doesn't push you back so ideally you want to bait out special ones until you get into the corner and then maybe you can go for some special twos as well but we're looking the key with the special one is the hand like as soon as you see it swipe up you got to dash back and then dash back into her and if you're quick enough you're going to intercept her every single time just after that special one so it just makes dealing with her very very easy the key with the special two is looking for the hand lunge forward and there's also going to be like some green magic as well very shortly after that so as soon as you can identify these signals in the special one and special two it makes it much easier to kind of keep black widow under control so again, here we're trying to bait out a special to just waiting for it. We go for some blocked hits just to push her back, you know, a little bit more. She fires off the special two. We're looking for the hand lunge forward and the green magic. We see it. We go in. We punish her. So this fight with Luke Cage is going really, really well, man. We still got plenty of health left. Clairvoyant is on the ropes, but also she does have the death touch active, which means she is going to regenerate. So uh, yeah, we need to kind of push her over and then let her regenerate and also kill her for a second time as well. So we use the special one 
one just to, you know, let her regenerate, give her the death immunity there. Not too much value. We wait for the green magic there. And as soon as we see it, we dash back in on Clairvoyant. Go for another combo. Nice little special one to finish that off. So, yeah, a pretty easy takedown with Luke Cage, man. He's really good for the Clairvoyant matchup. Next up, we got a power control showcase of magic. So, as long as you can completely shut down her power gain, then there's not really too much that's threatening in this fight. Because, again, a lot of the bleeds are going to come from, like, special one spam. And because she does have the aggressive note, uh, she's going to be throwing special ones like crazy. However, if you can lock down the power gain in terms of magic and play very aggressively in the corner, then that is going to heavily mitigate a lot of the bleeds. But also building up, you might have noticed that Limbo kind of rewound a lot of the damage. So we took a lot less damage from the bleeds overall. But as long as we can play fairly aggressively, kind of nail those stand up intercepts and do, you know, what magic does best, then this is a really good time. What makes champions like magic and also potentially Dr. Octopus so effective in the scenario as well is the fact that this node is aggressive. So the opponent pretty much is always going to play into your four combo dashbacks. So if you medium, then triple light dashback, you can see pretty much every single time Clairvoyant is following me really reliably. So this is just such a straightforward kill with magic and we got plenty of health left. So I imagine even a maxed out four star version uh, would have the potential and capability to one shot Clairvoyant. She gets the regeneration there, but it isn't the end of the world at all. Again, there's no indestructible, there's no unstoppable. So yeah, it's just really easy to take care of. Uh, and there we go, a nice little clean kill with magic there. Super happy about that one. Now, moving back into another Bleed Immune matchup, we've got the Iceman Showcase here. So again, I think Luke Cage, you know, if you do have him, works a lot better than Iceman does, just because you're going to see her, like, gaining additional power from nullifying Iceman's ice armor whenever that does come back up. But here, we're just kind of baiting out the special ones, dodging those as much as we possibly can. Um, and it is a little bit risky sometimes, because often when she uses a special one, because uh, you're a Bleed Immune champion, she's going to gain power from applying, like, a debuff to an immunity character. So the point is she can do like back-to-back -back special attacks. So sometimes if you're not quick enough, she can like clip you with that. So it's something to be, you know, very aware of, man. You gotta make sure as soon as you see that hand coming up, you're dashing back and then dashing back in as quickly as you possibly can, just to make sure you don't get ruined. Uh, but it's all about kind of getting the timing down when it comes to the special one and being confident getting the evades on that. So it is a good idea if you are struggling a little bit to practice and stuff like heroic and also master, because pretty much much fighting Black Widow is just bringing a champion that can counter her bleed mechanic and knowing how to quickly dodge her special attacks and deal with them. And because these are some slightly more flashy special attacks, you know, don't feel too bad if you do get wrecked initially, man. It took me a little bit to get some of the timing down, uh, but really like learning about that hand up trick and identifying kind of the green magic on the special two really helped me to kind of lock down the timings and intervals uh, when I need to evade and also attack back into the opponent. So I'm very grateful for that so here black widow uses the special two we wait for the green magic we dive back in again but i was a little bit too late on that one so i got combo with the special one so yeah that was a really annoying time and it's one of those things if you like bait out too many special twos on black widow she's really gonna lunge at you and it makes it a bit difficult to recover at certain points so we got the recovery on that one however we're in the corner now and unfortunately we didn't have the skills to evade that so we did end up getting wrecked so the moral of the story there is just make sure you bait out plenty of special ones just in order to push her back because again she has like no pushback with the special one it's just an immediate spell so she doesn't like jump toward you so it's very easy to like push her back and gain a lot of distance if you're spam baiting out special ones um but anyway ladies and gentlemen that is pretty much it for uncollected black widow clairvoyant again if today's video was helpful please do me a massive favor and smash that like button but aside from that ladies and gentlemen take care and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day.